I platinumed every Dark Souls game. Like in every Souls game except Sekiro, we need to create our character. So we wake up in a prison cell where a corpse is falling down, so we try to loot it and actually he has the key for the dungeon cell. So we pick up the key and open the door and right away we can get our first trophy and Kindle for lightening up the first thing, the bonfire, and we get and kind of oh I got the trophy so now we can get to the door right here we open it and we get to the first boss in the game and the problem is I don't have a really good sword it's a broken sword so I don't make damage and I died after failing on the first boss in the game we got to an NPC lying on the ground and he has a special idea he's giving us a healing item as this flask and we get the second trophy in the game and we get a key as well so now we can get to the main area of the game by getting grabbed of this crow and the crow is flying us to the main area and this means we get the third trophy reach lord grim nice firelink shrine really good and now we can get another trophy joining this guy covenant way of white okay we get to a double boss right now two gargoyles we have to defeat them and also we have to cut off the tails of these two bosses to get the weapons they can drop so I'm trying this now so we have to get behind them and there, there's the axe we need this weapon for the platinum a trophy, knights of honor and we got it gargoyle tail axe okay oh and the yeah okay and now we have to get the other weapon from the other boss he spawned okay and he's almost dead, I got him. Nice. Gargoyles had a bay had a bird, had a date. <laughs> I don't know man. But we have to defeat him and he's almost dead man. Come on. Nice, we got him. Victory. And the next trophy we can get is for ringing the bell right here. And this is the trophy ring the bell on that church. So we get to the next area and right here we can get another trophy, Covenant Forest Hunter. We just have to join the cat and like that we get Covenant Forest Hunter. So after getting this trophy we will get to the Great Grey Wolf Sith, which is a boss we need to defeat three times later. Like first, the first time we have to defeat him. So I'm using a pretty good sword so I'm making a lot of damage and like that. He's almost dead, come on. And I got him, yeah I got him. So we will get another trophy out of Abyss Walking for defeating the wolf. Yeah okay, I am stuck with a rat, she's on my head. The rat tries to fuck me or something like that, I don't know. But we have to go to the next boss and where we can get another trophy. But first we're gonna summon Man Eater Mildred gonna enter the boss arena and let's see who this is okay he's walking downstairs with the spider with flames on the body and there's a girl on it shit man she's looking pretty good okay let's enter the arena and let's fucking go okay the phantoms are oh shit man eater has to help me and I die because he didn't help me, yeah, really nice. He wanted at me, but we have to get back to the area, to the arena. Okay, I died, man. Yeah, get out of my way. Okay, I hate this area, man. But I have to defeat the boss. Come on here, nice. So here, so I have to walk around here. Okay, we have to watch out for the explosion. It's one hit. And she's almost there. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Oh. I thought she would explode, okay, we got the victory and now we can get this trophy for ringing the bell in this area trophy for ringing the bell right here really important, give me the trophy okay, we got the trophy, ring the bell, Kellogg's domain but this isn't all, so we have to get to the daughter of chaos and we have to join her for the next trophy and we do that and we get covenant chaos servant so I defeated a boss and forgot to press record but we have to examine the ring on the ground here to get to Arno Londo. These demons will take us to the castle, the nicest and biggest area in the game in Dark Souls 1. Just look at the view, 
and we get a trophy for reaching Arno Londo. Oh yeah, I'm very excited for this area. And we get to reach Arno Londo. So the next thing we need to do, we need to get to the next boss. Uh, it's a double boss. And right here I'm just searching for the bonfire in this area and I found it. After that I upgraded my Estes flask because I have one fire keeper soul. And after that I got to the boss, the double boss fight, the hardest boss in Dark Souls the one. Ornstein and Smout is the name of these two guys. As you can see, he's jumping down. So the thing we need to do here, we first need to defeat Smout to get a soul. Oh, I actually immediately die. Okay, we have to try that again. So I got back. And we have to defeat Smout first to get the soul of Ornstein because he's going to enter the second phase and this is giving us the soul of him so I almost defeated him oh shit he hit me fuck man dodge okay okay yeah I got him nice man finally okay what's happening yeah he's dead oh Ornstein is absorbing the power of smoke to get stronger Okay, man, I... Yeah, I need to defeat him, man. I'm one hit. Fuck. No, he's doing this attack all the time. I can't dodge it, and way too slow. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no, man. I have to do everything again. So after that, I died four more times and got back to small and defeated him. So we can enter the second phase again for another try. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. I have enough healing. Yeah, Estes Flash. Come on, man. I I don't want to die again. Okay, he's almost dead. Come on. No, he's doing this shit attack. Okay, I, I survived. No. Okay, I dodged. Come on. He's won it. Fuck. Come on! No! I'm almost there. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, I got it. Whoa! Okay, he's dead. Yeah, we got him. This means we can get two trophies after defeating him. So we have to get to the princess chamber where the princess is lying on a bed. And we get two trophies Lord Vessel and Covenant Princess Guard. So the first trophy we get. By collecting the Lord Vessel, we just have to talk to her, and like that we get the trophy. Come on, and we got Lord Vessel, nice. The second trophy, we just have to join her, enter Covenant, and we get Covenant Princess Guard. So we defeated the hardest boss in Dark Souls 1, and then I entered the new area, Ash Lake, where we need to enter a Covenant again from a dragon and this will get me a trophy so I explored a little bit and after exploring I found the dragon so I'm going to rest on the bonfire and then we're gonna enter the covenant and we get covenant path of the dragon so this guy is a blacksmith we need him later for a few trophies but first we're gonna enter a coffin so he's opening the way for us and then we get to the coffin and we have to lie down here to get into a secret area where we can get another trophy Tomb of the Giants is the area so we're gonna go to this guy before defeating him he's a boss fight and we get Covenant Grave Lord Servant for joining him so I forgot to press record on this boss it was a very easy boss because yeah nothing special and we got a trophy for killing him right off kindly so we are back at Arno Londo where we can enter another covenant, Blade of the Dark Moon at the covenant. If we join this ghost we get the trophy. Nice ghost. We get into the next boss arena where we fight against a boss. Dark Sun Gwendolyn is the boss name. He was pretty easy, I just have to run towards him and I have to be quick because he's teleporting all the time and the last hit I made killed him and that's the end we get the trophy defeat the dark sun Gwendolyn nice and we got his soul 
So we immediately get to the next boss. We enter the boss arena and right here she, we have to talk to her and she's giving us a weapon which we need for the platinum and like that we get the Priscilla dagger and she turned invincible I think. So I have to look out for her footprints. Okay man, oh shit, she hit it. Oh man. Okay, I found her footprints. She's dead, yeah. Yeah, this is over. Come on, I don't have any stamina, that's so bad, but... She, she's so bad, oh my god. We got her, and we will get a trophy for that. Defeat Crossbreed Priscilla. Nice, man. So we jump to the next boss, and that's the worst boss in the soul's history. Bat of Chaos. So we have to make a jump here to get to the weak point of the Bat of Chaos of the boss. And we have to roll, uh, dodge through these, yes, woods. And we have to destroy them to even reach a point. And like that, we destroyed both weak points. So we can get through the middle to his biggest weak point. And like that, we're gonna run towards him, jump down. Okay, I did it. So we have to dodge through this wood shit. Oh, shit. He Oh my god, but we did it and we defeated the worst boss in Souls history and we will get a trophy for that. Defeat Bat of Chaos. Okay, the word worst boss is out of the way. So earlier I talked about the blacksmith we need for a few weapon trophies and the first one we can get is fire weapon. And we got the bronze trophy for grading it up to fire. Do you remember this guy? We earlier joined him to get a trophy and now we have to defeat him because he's a boss and turned to the dark side. And yeah, this is the Grave Lord Nito. We had to jump down in a cave where I yeah, immediately died. You could see my souls were there. And also there are some skeletons you only can defeat with a godly weapon. But I don't have one. This means I have to yeah, defeat the boss. Well, I also have to watch out for these skeletons. So I got to the boss here and he's really easy. As you can see I'm just almost spamming the button and made a lot of damage and like that we defeated the boss. Great Lord Nito and this will give us the next trophy we need. Come on, give me the trophy, defeat Great Lord Nito and we get a soul, Lord Soul. As you can see I died here. But this is intended, we need to die here, so I put on a rare ring to keep my souls, 40,000, I don't want to lose them, and we got to the Duke's Archives by getting killed from the boss, and like that we're gonna kill the guard to escape the prison, we pick up the key and open the door, and like that the alarm will be set by a snake, a random one, this idiot, we're gonna defeat him. So we have to escape from the prison, you can see too many enemies, over 20 of them, we can't handle that. So we got back to the Duke's Archives, not in the prison, and on the way to the boss, we actually need to cut off the tail of this thing, of this, yeah, I think he's called Seth the Scaleless, we actually can get a trophy for killing him, while also getting a weapon required required for the platinum so we're gonna turn around here and walk behind him okay cut off his tail come on and we got moonlight greatsword really important and now we can fight him normally like that he's almost dead oh dodge like that bam oh shit he, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. he's making a lot of damage i know that i died here once and I'm not making the same mistake again and I defeated him like a goat. Give me the trophy. Defeat Seth the Scaleless and we get the solar as well. So we defeated Seth the Scaleless and like that we can finish Katarina's questline where her father turns hollow and she killed him because of that and we get a specific item we need for upgrading a weapon, Titan Stab and like that quest line is finished a very sad story but we have to get the platinum so let's go by doing that we get to the last lord 
we need to defeat to enter the final boss fight, Gwyn, the cinder of something. So we get to the abyss and like that we fight against four kings. The first one, yeah, actually four kings, but we don't fight against them at the same time. We have to fight them one by one. And I, as you can see, I have a big armor, which is very important to take less damage. I'm almost taking no damage. It's really important. Four bosses, one by one, is really hard. So I put on the hardest, the biggest armor in the game, and we got to defeat the four kings. So we get to the Firelink Altar, where we can offer the souls of the four lords, and like that. We can enter the final boss in the game, Gwyn. So let's see, cutscene, very nice. Oh shit, the door is opening. Before we defeat Gwyn, we have to upgrade our weapons and get all the trophies before entering NG Plus, New Game Plus. A yeah. cold weapon, we get all the trophies, but that's not all. So after grading up our weapons, we get to Gwyn, Lord of Cinder is the name, okay? And yeah, I'm having a hard time with him because you need to parry every attack of... Yeah, Gwyn, every attack of Gwyn. Gwyn, if you don't do that, he's spamming his attack and you don't have any chances. As you can see, I won it again and he killed me like... Yeah, I just wanted to heal and I died. Okay, now... I'm trying to parry him as often as possible. Oh no, he grabbed me. Fuck. Did a lot of damage, but I survived. Okay, I died again. So I enter the boss arena again and I changed my armor a little bit. And now I'm parrying. I got him one time. Come on, another time. Yes, I got him. Okay, this is the last time. Oh no, he's won it. Yeah, he, yeah, spawn trapping him, and we're gonna get the first ending, the first ending, and the first trophy for the ending. There are two endings, so let's uh, leave the area, and we can get the trophy and the ending cutscene. Oh yeah, we're gonna become the lord of this area. Of yeah, lord, what is this area? Let yeah, come on, we gonna turn the into the Lord, into the Dark Lord Grin of Cinder, and we get Dark Lord. So we're gonna jump to NG Plus, New Game Plus, where we can get a few trophies I missed in the first playthrough, like grading up some weapons, getting the yeah covenants I missed, and also getting the Soul of Smout. Because we need the soul for yeah, making a weapon. So we get back to the ghost where we prayed earlier. And this time we get a miracle for praying to her and we get prayer of a maiden. Very important. So we are back at the four kings. I need to defeat them and after that I can join a turtle. Because I never speak to her in my second playthrough right here. So let's skip the cutscene and we get the soul of him, okay? And now, yeah, there he is. The turtle is spawned and like that we can talk to him and join him, covenant to him. So let's do that, enter the covenant and we get covenant dra dark grave rip. So the next trophy I can get is for, yeah, talking to the NPC because I defeated the Bed of Chaos, I can get the last pyromancy I need for a trophy, Bond of a Pyromancer. Only a few trophies left. So the next few trophies we can get is for upgrading the last weapons we need for the specific BPN trophies. And we get a few like magic weapon, fire weapon and stuff like that, chaos weapon. All this is done and we got to another NPC where we had to collect every miracle in the game and we got wisdom of sage. Okay, we get to win again. We need to defeat him to enter the next new game plus, which we need to upgrade the last few weapons and we parry him like seven times in a row as you could see and we get his soul again, which we need for weapons. Then we upgrade to boss weapons. And like that we get the second ending and the second trophy of the endings 
and yeah we're gonna stay this time we need to light the bonfire and as you can see we get flamed by the flames oh yeah yeah this looks sick for a 10 year old game it's just good man it's too good it's awesome and we get to link the fire <laughs> the only thing we need for the platinum is to turn every weapon that is plus 10 to a boss weapon and this means we get the trophy knights of honor so let's go let's craft a weapon and we got it and we get the dark soul platinum trophy we did it and now we get to a specific point in the video where we, where i will talk about the personal opinion which i like which i didn't like and stuff like that and first we see my playtime it was 64 hours so this is a pretty decent si uh, time i would say so let's get to my personal opinion so i'm gonna talk about the platinum and ooh, the game itself so let's start with the personal opinion personally i think the game is really good for me it's a 9 out of 10 in terms of fun and enjoyment and stuff like that but the platinum sometimes would be really annoying and you had to be so specifically watching out of the things you collect and if you don't do that like I needed to do you miss out on things and you have to start a new playthrough and stuff like that so I can say at the end the enjoyment of a platinum is a 7 because you have to collect so many things and do these specific things for the weapons and stuff like that defeat bosses multiple times and the the game itself is a 9 and an enjoyment pretty fun if you don't need to do free playthroughs and stuff like that really really good game so if you didn't play the game just buy it it's really good so if you enjoyed the video i would appreciate a like and sub if you don't want to miss out on future projects like super meat boy i'm working on currently so give it a try and, and subscribe to the channel so we start a new game in dark souls 2 it's the first time i'm playing this game some people say it's the worst soul spawn game so i'm very yeah, excited to know about that and why this is so bad so um, yeah i collected a item there explored a little bit when i found this tree house so i went into that and right there there are three ladies i can talk with and they will give me the chance to create my to create my character so i'm going to do that and this will earn me the first trophy so i can get this trophy for creating my character self recollection so let's go now i'm going to play a woman as a woman so the normal class a knight uh, i don't want to look like that yeah give me yeah this some hair nice like that can i choose some tats oh i got the trophy self recollection so then I light my bonfire and after that I got to Medulla where I can talk to a yeah, a woman and she's yeah giving us the chance to level up and also I can join a covenant here for a trophy. First I'm going to do that. So we just have to talk to him and this will earn us a trophy. Covenant of the meek. Okay, we got this trophy out the way. So I found the cat that can talk. After that I got to another covenant which will earn me another trophy. And this covenant is really, really bad. I shouldn't enter this. Because if you join this covenant, the game gets harder. Okay, I got the trophy covenant of the fittest. Yeah, when you join this covenant, the game will get harder. And after that, I got to the first area. Highest tower of... Couldn't read it anymore. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. A castle. So, yeah, the first area. And here I can fight the first boss. So I skipped all the enemies in my way to get to the boss fight. And I think... He gives us no trophy, I don't know. I don't remember. I know the Dark Souls 2 bosses are very bad, so I'm using some cheeses sometimes. Very annoying. Look at this, look at this weapon. Who designed this guy? In this uh, small area, makes no sense with this long armed weapon. Just go away, man. And this guy is... Oh my god, I can't with this game. Yeah, look. 
Okay, I got the trophy. This is Dark Souls for dying for the first time. Yeah, okay. I can take that trophy. So I got back. I'm going co to collect my souls. And now, come on. Oh yes, I defeated him. Yeah, I'm the best player. And I got a soul. Yeah, Dragon Rider soul from the boss. So I went to the next boss fight, which is in a different area. So here is the boss. Uh, the arena, the trophy is the last giant, which I can get when I defeat him, the last giant. But we see the cutscene of him, he's getting tortured or something like that. Yeah, he's he's rushing to us. <laughs> yeah, but I saw some videos on this guy, he was yeah very slow and easy, like a first boss fight, I would say, just to get into the game. And as you can see, if you die in Dark Souls 2, your health bar gets cut off, this thing in the middle at my health bar. Because you died too much. But yeah, he's almost dead. But if I use Effigny, human Effigny, I get my health back and I got the trophy last giant. And also his soul, which we need for later. Let's get to the next boss, which is yeah very easy. You can parry him. So he he's very annoying if you don't parry him. Parrying this guy is very good. So I did it, yes. First parry. Bam, some hits. Another parry, nice. Yeah, a few hits again. Parry, few hits. Doing this cycle over and over. And this will earn me no trophy. Yeah, I don't get it. In Dark Souls 1, you get a trophy for almost every boss. But here in this game, it's yeah, very rarely a trophy when you defeat a boss but now i can enter a different area so let's do this with the eagle going to take us to the castle so we got to the lost best tier and here are two chests gonna loot them human effigy yeah as i said if you died a lot you can use that also you can uh, restore your humanity like that so now i went to medulla and i can open the door for the smith which i did and then i get to a new area where you can meet a npc for the first time and we have to complete his quest first we have to get to the area yeah it's looking pretty weird but here is the entrance to the area it has no name yeah okay this guy with the great sword the moonlight great sword he's important for later because we have to complete his quest and he's just sitting there we have to summon him we have to summon him for three boss fights i think and this will complete the quest and then we have to enter some memories of him but we can get a trophy here for res rescuing this girl so if you use a fragment branch of your and if we do that we can give her our armor set any armor set and this will give us a trophy so first we have to talk to her yeah i know you are thankful for that that we saved you so but i just want the trophy that's the only reason i saved you so give equipment we have to go on that and now i give worst armor set ever because i can't get it back so i got this and get the trophy change of clothes so now i am entering another area and i think we can get a covenant trophy here so let's go I just have to stick to the left so I can reach this guy and we are in the area of this NPC and I think reflections on disembodiment um or what is that trophy so it popped random randomly yeah but then I got back to Medjula so we have to travel to another area okay I can earn a trophy for a covenant and this guy he's pretty important for later for Three miracles. Yeah, we have to get every miracle, every sorcery, every pyromancy, and we got the trophy protector covenant for joining his covenant. But yeah, I we have to collect everything in this game except for leg legendary weapons and rings. Then I got to a boss, skeleton lords. Pretty bad boss. I'm showing some of these bosses. So I never experienced something like this. They just give you three normal enemies, some bigger enemies, and then they give you some normal skeletons. Army of skeletons, and this is the boss. No trophy as well, because this boss is too bad to have a trophy, so that's the reason. But yeah, after that, I defeated this guy and used this. Yeah, there it is, the opening for this hidden wall. Belfry Luna, and here is a, yeah, a little guy. We can join this covenant for a trophy. Trophy. 
and there it is Shenjuro's Covenant so we get to another boss fight there are two bosses in this room I have to defeat them to get to the next area so we yeah, are pretty bad boss again always in this game yeah Dark Souls 2 has the worst bosses yeah look at this I don't have to do anything just dodging and <laughs> waiting for my chance to kill him And I got him. Yeah, so I got back to this guy and I can get two trophies. When I uh, do that, I have to spend many souls on him. I think 20,000 souls. So he's giving me something. So I do that. And I also upgrade my weapon to plus 10 to get another trophy. Supreme weapon. Yeah, we upgraded the weapon to plus 10. And now I can talk to him. And there it is. Smith for life the next trophy so we are done with him and we can get to the next boss okay the cutscene rolls okay oh this is the spider boss with the spiders the small spiders will be very annoying but we have to defeat the fat spider a pretty okay boss you have to uh, you have to wait when he attacks so you can hit him on the head but when he doesn't attack you can't hit him that's the problem with this boss as you can see i can't hit him so i have to wait for my chance when he opens his mouth and tries to attack me i can damage him as well but i have to dodge his attacks before that but i was very yeah impatient and i couldn't wait because i hate i don't like this game man it was pretty annoying sometimes but i had to stick to this game because I wanted the platinum and as well all the solo spawn tro of platinum trophies so I'm only missing Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 so after Dark Souls 2 this will be yeah the last platinum I get Dark Souls 3 or uh, so I have all the soul spawn platinum trophies but now I can light the primal bonfire and get a trophy Bright stone bonfire because we defeated the spider i could get there and now we can enter a covenant like that we have to go to this yeah this area here and there will be a yeah a area small area with a altar and i can knee here and this will give me the trophy brilliant covenant yeah we got that trophy another boss fight and now we get to the hardest thing in this game we have to defeat medusa her name is Myth Mytha the baneful queen she has no head she's carrying her head she squeezed us but i'm making a lot of damage so very easy killing her nice man i got her victory achieved give me the souls okay i got it and i get the trophy gathering of exiles for discovering every bonfire and now i can talk to him set up the ladder and this will complete his quest if i do it with the both so i had the small one and now the long one the big one and if i do that i will get a trophy and there it is Garulo's Miser. Another boss fight against someone pretty annoying. Let's go. The Lost Sinner. He's calling himself the Lost Sinner. And this guy, he yeah, is pretty easy. Look at him, he's pretty slow. I did it almost. He's very low. And as you can see, I'm using this Phantom Blue Ketil to complete her quest. We have to summon her four times, I think, or three times. And this will allow me to get a trophy later. But we defeated the lost sinner. Now I can get a miracle or a, no, a fragment of yawn. And also I can get a trophy for lightning this bottle fight. Sinner's Bonfire. Okay, we get to the worst boss in the game. A red royal <laughs> red vanguard. This boss contains normal enemies and this is the boss. Normal rats we have to defeat. This this boss is just a army of rats. That's the boss fight and we got it. The alpha red is down so we can yeah enter a covenant for a trophy. So like that we will get the trophy. By entering his covenant, come on. 
and there it is the Norwing Covenant join the Red King okay we are at the next bonfire here so we can travel to Undead Paul Garrett choose yes yes and I get a trophy for joining his covenant so we can get to this guy in this area and he will yeah he, he is very important for a trophy we can join his covenant so now I'm at a boss called the rotten we have to defeat him but this guy man is pretty insane so let's go trying my best yeah okay he's coming towards us i died a lot on him as you can see my souls are lying on the ground but now i'm having a chance no shit you one hit me man so i got back and this time his health no okay i survived shit come on get oh shit okay okay he's almost dead oh shit now I spam the button and I got this guy. I got him. Out of the way and I get the soul of the rotten which we need and we can light the bonfire for a trophy gold bonfire. Lucatil and his and her armor set as well. Okay, now we have to complete some some challenges. Three in total. 
we have to do these challenges to get a gold trophy and this is not an easy task as you, as you can see here three phantoms trying to kill me so I have to be careful killing them one by one come on focus on me kick him down oh yes i got him i really kicked him down and this tree <laughs> So we got to this boss, Dark Lurker, and we have to defeat him for the gold trophy, as I said. But this is no easy task. Look at this health bar. The damage I deal is reduced. I don't know why this is like. Yeah, I died on that. Shh. So it was my first try, but after that, I died over and over and over. All the time dying to the shitty boss, because in the second phase, he's duplicating himself and this means the double attacks and you have to be very fast and, as in, and aggressive in this phase because if it takes too long it's over so here i had a chance i ran away ran away got to this guy oh shit it's pretty close ooh, 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 ooh. okay this was pretty good don't hit me dodge nice Ooh, I did it. Oh my god. Finally, after so many tries. Give me the trophy. Selfless giver. Dark Lurker Soul. Okay, we get to an end game area. We have to get here onto the top to talk to an NPC and dragon. We have to talk to him for a trophy. But first, I checked up my fashion because I look very good. But first, we have to uh, challenge these knights uh, if we don't and we just escape. The normal enemies here are following us and I want to avoid that. So I'm killing these knights, but it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> They're in the right corner, this enemy. But after that, I got an invader and here I can get the petrified egg. And this means I can enter a covenant for a trophy. But we do that later first we have to talk to this npc to get the trophy and this guy is in my way a double sword he's using <laughs> parry him parry him oh shit he's gone pretty easy guy i did 2000 damage on him so we're gonna talk to him and we can also kill him but i don't do that it's not worth it so we'll talk to him and we get ancient dragon okay we can get back i think i'm going to get the covenant now the covenant trophy yes we're gonna go to this uh, npc and if we talk to him he's asking us to give him the egg the petrified egg yes might you give it to me so we give it to him and we will be able to enter his covenant and also we get a trophy for doing that so we enter the covenant and we get covenant of ancients after joining the covenant i can get a trophy for completing the quest line of ben hart or bernhard i don't know his name so we have to enter this memory and like that we can go to ben hart because i completed uh, all the other me memories i can do that and this will give me the trophy moonlight greatsword and now another quest line we have to complete right here for a trophy memory of the So this will be a big challenge. So I'm waiting for my chances, but dying over and over, I died a lot on him. I can say that because I made a simple mistake and I was too impatient. I couldn't wait to kill him. So something like this happened. Shit, he's almost down. I can't do a mistake. He wanted me. Him. Come on. Oh. Oh. Shit. Yes. Yes. No. No, no, no. 
No, he's one hit. Look at his health bar. Fuck, so don't be so dumb. And I did it, but I got back. And now I won't do the same mistake I did before. I'm waiting for my chance. And I took the chance. And this will give me the trophy Vendrick for defeating the most annoying boss in the game. So we can immediately jump to the next boss, which is the end boss of the game. Miss Chandra. She's pretty annoying because... As you can see, these uh, lightning things, these uh, these clouds, I say, they curse you. And this, every time you get cursed, your uh, human effigy health bar goes down. This means less health when you die on the boss, which is very, very bad. And I don't want to do that, so I'm using the arrows to lead her to me, but the phantom is yeah, making a big mistake here. And I can get her to focus on me she's focusing on him so he's she's staying in the middle so i ran to uh, the boss to kill her and she's won it took my chance drink three estes flasks and i killed her and i got victory achieved and the soul of Nishandra. but the fight isn't over we hear a voice of a pretty ugly thing oh the soundtrack goes up shit man so Eldia, scholar of the first sin so if we kill him, we can get a ending, which will give us a trophy. But yeah, I don't even have to talk about this boss. It's the worst final boss fight I've ever seen. Just look at this. It's a tree. What the fuck is this? So I defeated him. Now I can choose between light or dark. Light, dark. So I'm going to go this way to this door. And I will take the throne on me to get the power. I need to destroy this land and to destroy the whole game because it's the worst soul spawn game I've ever played. I didn't have so much fun as with the other soul spawn games like Sekiro or Elden Ring, especially Bloodborne and stuff like that. But this game was the worst experience for me. I'm talking like we got the platinum, but we didn't. Okay, so the door closed and we will see the credits. Credits will roll and we get the hail gold trove and now the time has come we have to get through the whole DLCs and if we do that we can get uh, more miracles and stuff like that and I got master of hexes for collecting the last hex I needed for the trophy so I got back to this guy and I got the trophy master of sorcery because I completed a quest for ranking up his covenant and then I farmed some sunlight medals which was a grind a big grind it took me three, three days to collect 30 sunlight medals yep Pretty damn annoying. I watched animes uh, in, on the side and farmed this shit up. So I got the last medal so I can get to this area where we joined the covenant for the first time. And I literally have to give every sunlight medal by one by one. So this will take a lot of time. So we can get the sunlight spear. So this means we got the sunlight spear. And now we can get to this guy in NG++ to get two trophies. First we have to buy two miracles to get this trophy. Bountiful sunlight and also wrath of the gods. And we get the trophy master of miracles. Now we have to buy the great chaos fireball to get master of pyromancy and the platinum trophy the dark soul. Finally look at my soul I have 3.8 million. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe so I can do more of these videos. So we start a new game and I'm going to create my character like in every souls game. We have to do that. I'm going to take the normal knight class because he has a nice armor set and a sword so after creating the character a cutscene starts and we have to stand up our character is lying on the ground yeah stand up so i can get a trophy here the first trophy is enkindle for lightning the bonfire so i found my first bonfire and this will earn me a trophy unkind and kind and after doing that we can get to the first boss in the game and i know him i watched a few videos on youtube a few years ago so we are at the boss and if we defeat him we can earn a trophy so yeah he's kind of he's killing me kind of fast i'm almost dead 
Shit. Okay, I can dodge him very easily. And I got him. Nice. First try. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I got the trophy Ludex Gundir and a coiled sword. I can live with that. So here we fight against this guy and randomly he got a new arm which he uses but I'm stronger than him. Yeah this boss is very easy and boring. I don't have to show and say much to him about him as well. Just skip this guy. Curse rotted great wood. We got the trophy and the soul. So we did this area. I think it's completely over. So we get to the next area. And here there's a ring down there, I think. I need to collect every ring in the game for a trophy. So I got a bonfire and here I can talk to two NPCs. And one of them will give me a covenant thing. So I will get a trophy right here when I talk to him. I will get covenant blue sentinels. It's very good. So we got that trophy and we get to the next boss fight. Which will earn us a trophy. Chris the Sage, very annoying guy, tries to teleport away. He summons some clones that uh, you can easily yeah, pick out. You immediately know who is the real one because he has this purple, this purple magic, and the other guys have blue magic, as you can see there. So, very easy. You just have to hunt them down, and this will earn us a trophy. Crystal Sage. Yeah, and his soul. A blue soul. Looks good. Okay, the next boss. A very easy one. Deacons of the Deep. Don't have to say much. You just have to follow this guy who is shining red. 
And if you hit this or kill this guy who is shining red, you make damage to the whole your army or the boss and after doing that many times he will go down and this will earn us the trophy deacons of the deep part deacons of the deep now i found a old wolf and i got a geesture we need to collect every geesture in the game for a trophy we also need to get here back later but first we join this covenant for a trophy watchdogs of Farron. So we get that, but later we have to get back here. But now we're gonna fight the first Lord of Cinder, and this will be the Abyss. No, how was his name? Yeah, we will see. But this is the first uh, Cinder Lord, the first Cinder Soul. I don't know how they are called, I forgot. He looks like a Bloodborne character. So we're gonna fight against the Abyss Watchers. Yeah, there are more than one. Here's, here are two more enemies that can attack me anytime. But I am I think I'm lucky right now. I don't see them. Yeah, that's really... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there they are. have to watch out. Both of them can make a lot of damage. Okay, one of them is down, but I'm very low. Okay, he's down, but this is not the whole boss fight. He will stand up again. It's his second phase. Yes, his second phase. So two health bars. A lot of bosses in this game have two health bars, but I like that. It's very nice. Makes them even harder. make a lot of damage here and this will earn us a silver trophy lots of cinder abyss watchers nice we got that so we entered a new area and i can fight against a boss here i just have to touch goblet and if i do that i get teleported to a yeah, small area where a boss is waiting for us a very easy one he looks epic and dangerous but Nah man, he's very easy. Nothing special, I just think he's epic. So we have to destroy these things he's wearing. These golden bracelets. Bracelets? I think. Yeah, he's golden things on the arm. So we defeat him and I will get the trophy high lord for near. So we get out of this and here we spawn here and we can get to the next no, lord of cinder. But first we get into this area where I can fight against a boss. He is calling himself the old demon king and i will get a trophy for defeating him he's kind of annoying you will see now so first attacking him before he can move oh a lot of damage over a thousand damage nice okay i'm getting bombed by these fireballs okay he's almost down so we can do that and he's down give me the trophy old demon king soul of the old demon king and now i can get to this npc i can get a trophy here talking to this npc or talk to her bam ask to <laughs> join and we get covenant rosaria's fingers so we, did, we have done that i can go down here but a big surprise is waiting for us we have to defeat two enemies if we defeat one of them once they will never spawn again except for a new game plus we have to defeat them later again this turns out to be a very annoying task and we did it and i got a ring as i said we need to get every ring and i get the trophy covenant eldritch faithful for joining us covenant okay now i'm in this area this castle area looks like arno londo but it, it isn't and we will fight against pontiff sullivan he is a insane yard boss we will have to defeat him for a trophy yeah and oh shit he's kind of annoying he's he's really fast as you can see i died there okay next try died again keep picking up my souls again so this time i'm using these summons yes these these phantoms to help me so i can focus on the ball without getting destroyed while i'm doing a attack and if i do that these npcs survive so he's a little bit easier like that i don't have to dodge every attack so i got him and i get pontiff 
Sullivan. Yeah, now we can go to an NPC here and ask her to join her covenant. First, light the moonfire. Okay, there she is. Nice. Yorska. Now we get the trophy covenant blade of the dark moon. Next boss. This time a boss with which I couldn't first try. So Eldritch Devourer of Gods. We have to defeat him for a trophy. I think every boss in this game is trophy related. Yeah. Okay, he made a lot of damage on me. I only have four Estes left. He's always doing this. Oh my shitty god. Look at this. A rain of arrows which didn't even stop. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, next try. He's almost down. Okay, these magical projectiles. Kind of annoying. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I did it. He's almost down. I did a lot of damage on him. No, no, not this attack again. No. Oh, oh my god. I killed him with... <laughs> I began suicide with him and I got the trophy lord of cinder blah 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 his boss name very good after that we spawn here in Arnold Londo so after that I got to Yorm lord of cinder Yorm the giant very easy boss lord of cinder Yorm the giant we have to defeat him for a trophy but this guy has a lot of health so this thing the thing is with this boss you can't use your, your own weapon you have to use weapon he has on the side of his throne but first we see Sigurd so we're gonna fight against him with Sigurd yeah he's yelling at him okay I have to take the sword now storm ruler if I use if I wouldn't use this sword I couldn't make a lot of damage just like a few hits okay dodge there it is look at this damage so I have to load the attack and if I do that I can hold or oh, not like that just like that and I will make a lot of damage and he's breaking down. If I do that uh, multiple times he will be dead soon so die. A very nice boss as well. I love this guy but I thought he would be different. Yeah but it's an epic boss. Not very difficult but very epic. Okay there it is. The last attack. Oh he did it. Seek ward did the final slash and we will get a trophy lord of the giant yorm of the giant so we are walking down here to the next boss fight we have to fight against a wolf something like that he is he's carrying a kid tries to protect it but we have to get him out of the way to get a trophy and also to enter the dark firelink shrine where i can get many items that i need for the platinum and also a secret ending later
I died again. Nice. <laughs> okay, next try. This time with the summon, so he doesn't focus me the whole time, the whole fight. And like that, maybe I can defeat him. So this uh, boss, a few, this is one of the bosses that killed me more than two times. Not the first try, I couldn't first try him, he was not that easy. So I liked this boss, he was very nice. And we get the trophy Dragon Slayer armor. So now we can go to this tower here. And if I kill this guy, he will drop a ring. And as I said, again, we need all the rings. So I'm gonna kill him, but I had to kill him myself. And I did, and I got the Hawk ring. So this place here. You can farm so many souls here from these enemies. So one enemy drops, I think, 13,000 souls. And I want to prepare for New Game Plus, so I leveled up. So I farmed some souls to level up here. So now we can get the last Estus chart, which I need for a trophy. So let's, there it is. If I collect that, this will be the last Estus chart I can use to upgrade my Estus flask. And I will get ultimate. As those 15 I have on my pocket. Then I got ultimate bonfire for burning under bone shards to upgrade the bonfire to the maximum. And after that, I got supreme weapon reinforcement to upgrade a weapon to plus 10. So we get to the last uh, Lord of Cinder. This guy, Lothric, I think. And the prince, the other guy on his back. Ah, uh, my god, this guy. I first tried him. So, some people said it's a very hard boss. So let's see if that's true. I, I don't know about that. Looks kind of easy. So Lorian, Elder Prince, he immediately teleported himself to me. Nice. Oh, oh, he's he's tough. <laughs> can do anything he's so bad not being yeah dodge perfectly nice always one attack never be greedy yeah okay he was too fast this time oh shit he's teleporting all the time what an idiot man my god okay i got him cutscene starts i think this was only the first phase now we're gonna see the second phase man very good game i have to say the game is almost over but we have to play through it two more times after that but this isn't the end boss this is the last boss before the end boss yeah i'm kind of disappointed the first phase was very easy first try them there maybe this time will be harder okay i see he's doing some magic and my shitty summon died fuck and it's a double boss now as so you can see, this guy is on his back. Oh yeah, I, I remember now. When you kill this uh, Lorian Elder Prince and the younger prince is alive, he will uh, revive his brother. That's why he's so annoying. Yeah, I see. But this won't stop me from first trying this guy. So let's see. I did it. Nice. Oh, this was close. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's almost down, come on. No, no, stamina, come on, no. Oh my god, you almost have revived this idiot. But now we will get a silver trophy. Lord of Cinder, Lothric, Younger Prince. Now, the last thing we need to do is farm a little bit to <laughs> prepare for NG++. And NG+, so we get to this yeah girl i'm gonna now use 12 gems i think if i infuse all the weapons i can get master of infusion the next trophy 
Okay, we get to profane capital and right here I can use a geese chew to enter a secret area and this will earn me a trophy. But first I have to get to this point where this, this is possible. So now I have to use the emote path of the dragon. And if I do that, I will get teleported to this area where we will find the hardest boss in this game. But for me, just a joke. But yeah, but first we have to enter the area and earn our trophy for entering this shit there we are so the trophy should pop if i go forward come on where's the trophy yes arch dragon peak we did it we got the trophy backstab this idiot and now we're gonna fight against the worst boss in this game again i say that because i didn't know how to fight against him so i watched a video on youtube and i saw you can defeat him by one attack but I didn't know that, so I fought with him for 20 minutes, hitting his leg or his head, sometimes trying to hit his head, which didn't work. Of course I'm cutting everything out, because this was way too long, and as you can see, very annoying. And how should I know that you can one at him? It's not fair. So I had to waste my time defeating this guy. It's, yeah. It's just bad, just a bad shitty boss. Get him out of the way. Just give me the trophy. Ancient Wyvern, give me the trophy. Nice, we did it, we got the trophy. Okay, we get teleported to the next bonfire. There we are. I can get a ring here. Also, I can use this yeah, emo to get the ring. So we do that and we get Calamity ring. Very good ring, but I will never use this shit. So let's get to the boss fight. He should be right here. If I ring the bell, the area turns dark and kind of sad. And yes. So we ring the bell to summon the nameless king. This motherfucker. Some people say it's the hardest boss in the game and also one of the hardest in Souls history. But I think... Yeah, just look for yourself how I defeat him. I don't know what to say, man. The first phase is shitty as fuck. No one wants to fight against a dragon who you can't hit all the time. He has to move to the ground to so you can hit him. I don't like bosses like that where you have to wait until you can attack. As you can see, he's going down. So now I can hit him. I can't, I can't hit him. He's flying away. Shit like that. I no one wants to fight against shit like that. Now this attack, very easy to dodge. Easy. So see, he has to go down like that. Only then you can attack him. But the first phase, we can skip that. Nothing spectacular. And I died here, yeah. It was my first time fighting him. And now you will see. This is the easiest... <laughs> no, no. Just joking, but... It's, it's the hardest boss in the game, but... We got the dragon down. Shit, like an anime scene, you know? Kind of remembers me of something. I don't know the anime, maybe you know something, a similar scene like that. I don't remember right now, but first we have to defeat the Nameless King. Okay, he hit me. Shit. <laughs> no, I won it. Can I heal myself? Yes. Nice. Bam. Now I'm in my rhythm. He can hit me once. Okay, this was unfair. But now, now I can't get hit. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> okay, I, I think I got him. He's almost down. He can't do anything. I'm going behind him. Bam. I did it. Second try. The hardest boss in the game, yeah? I got him, the Nameless King. The second try. This is the hardest boss this game has to offer. And I second tried him. What a fucking joke. What a shitty fucking joke. Go to the boss. The soul of Sindhu. The end boss. So I'm gonna summon these phantoms. I didn't know that the boss will have way more health if you do that, but wasn't a problem for me first you will see he's attacking with a normal sword but then i noticed he's using all the moves of the other lords of cinder that's very cool this that's a very nice boss even the name fits the soul of cinder 
So he has everything from the other Cinder Lords. He's a soul, you know, you know what I mean? It's like a little detail, I think. But yeah, this guy isn't that difficult. It's again kinda epic. With these swords on the ground, like a battlefield and the sun. I don't know how it's called, but this red sun looks very nice. And now he's going into second phase, where he will be a little bit more dangerous. Uh, you can see my health bar, it's very very big so oh shit man no almost dead is that the soundtrack from the from dark souls one the from gwyn yeah it is why is that playing here makes no sense correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's from gwyn from gwyn the final boss fight from dark souls one it's the soundtrack or oh, it sounds like it it's similar But yeah, bam, did it. Now I can rest in peace. And now we can get the uh, most annoying ending. Uh, I think, yeah, this will be a trophy, a gold trophy. I don't know, uh, something with sun. So link the first flame. Now we're gonna see a cutscene. There it is, an epic shot. This sun is white. I got a trophy, the usurpation of fire. Oh shit. So now we enter it and get plus. We have to collect every ring, every plus one ring. And then I got to this farming location. We need to get 10 pale tongues to offer them to an NPC to get some items. We need to do that. It's platinum related. Sadly, this this grinding stuff, it's very annoying. There are five or yeah, six items we need to farm for six NPCs and altar or one altar. So we go to her, offer the tongues and we will get a reward. The obscuring singing ring, I couldn't read anymore. Okay, we did it. So now we get this ring, very good one. And then we get to Yorm, gonna defeat this guy easily, man. Such an easy boss. What can I say? 7000 damage. Yeah, <laughs> go away. Sleep again. Don't annoy me. Go away. And then we talk to him. We, As you can see, we can buy pyromancy, miracles, sorceries and hexes from this guy with boss souls. And I bought them all for the trophies. So now I got an item which I can use to enter a world so I can invade in an NPC and if I do that I will get a reward so we need to do that as well for a specific item trophy related so we invaded the world and this is a quest line of an NPC and this will be the end of the quest line if we defeat him so I invaded this time I'm the invader myself. I hated these invaders in Dark Souls 2. As I said, bad, <laughs> bad Souls game. <laughs> Some people got mad, but I don't care. It's just my opinion. I don't have many subs and people care about stuff I say about this game. Yeah, I killed him. Duty fulfilled. So I can return to my world. Come on. Okay, we will get another ring. Get out of my way. So, I can s jump out of the elevator and here I can get a ring, collect them. Life ring plus one. Okay, I got back to Firelink Shrine. I can buy some things from her, but I can't. So I have to buy this tower key again for 20k souls to enter this tower. And I can pick up her Firekeeper soul and also if I go in there, patches will lock us up. And this is a way to get this guy into the firelink shrine and we need him for a ring and also for a gesture and if we talk to him and we won't forgive him and for doing that we will get a gesture the last one which i need for a trophy prostration and i get the trophy for collecting every gesture after that i got to her and try to find out which miracles I need, which are the last ones I need for a trophy. First we have to farm every thing for these NPCs and there will be the last miracles, hexes, sorceries and stuff like that. So this guy, we have to defeat him 30,000 times I think to get every sunlight medal I need to get. Yeah, so we need 30, 30 sunlight medals 
and I don't know, it took two days, I think, to collect this shit. Yeah, so you see a little compilation of getting some sunlight medals. And after doing that, we get to Arno Londo where I can get another item. We have to farm. So I'm using this uh, hat, this helmet, but I take damage if I wear this helmet, which is very annoying. I died a lot because of that. Sometimes I went AFK. So we need this item, proof of a conquered key kept. Yeah. So I got that 30 times. Now we get to this thing and I need 30, I don't know how it's called. Yeah, wolf's blood sword grass. We need that 30 times for this wolf. So after getting 30, we will need to get 10 uh, human scum to offer to an NPC in the underground. You will see later human drags. Yeah, human scum. It's the same. Okay, now we get to the last farming spot where I can get the last items. Vertebra shake or something like that. I need 30 of them. And this took me I uh, almost three days, almost three days. I died on that, I died on that. It was insane. I just died. As I said, I died. This was the most annoying shit I had ever done for a platinum. This grindy stuff. I like hard platinums more than grindy shit. So now we can offer all of these items to the altar and NPCs. So we start with the sunlight medals, if I offer them I will get a trophy. So first I will offer 10 to get the miracle sacred of then 10 to deepen our thing. And we got this the great lightning spear, I don't know. So we get to the wolf after that, we teleport it to him and I will get them. And I will give him 10 for his sword, which I don't need. After then another, another 10 for the wolf ring nice now i get to arno londo where i can talk to yoshka i think is her name so we use the invisible bridge light the bonfire again we are new game plus so talk to her skip every dialogue shit come on offer everything so i got the dark moon ring now i will get a miracle this is the last one i need for the trophy Finally, a trophy, Master of Miracles, Dark Moon Blade. It took so long, weeks. This is the area I meant. We have to defeat these one time enemies again. And man, they are so annoying. Yeah, I died. Even with good armor set and all of that stuff, you get so much. You, you just die in two hits or so. Look at this shit, what? Oh man, oh man. Oh. Shh, fuck this game. I can't, I can't. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to put this enemy and this, uh, this NPC in this shitty location then in this corner? But all this pain is worth it because after that we can talk to this NPC and he will give us a trophy. I think for every hex, I don't know. Yeah, we will see now. No, for every sorcery, master of sorceries, great deep soul. We did it. And now the last items we need to offer on this altar, this skeleton altar there. I think I will get a trophy for offering everything. So we do the 10, I get something I don't need, shit. So 20 now, and this will earn me trophy master of pyromancies and the pyromancy warmth. And another ring, another ring. And this would take so long and new game plus plus. But yeah, first we have to do new game plus, collect every ring that is possible to find in the shitty playthrough. And then I got to this area again. I didn't know that you had to fight Nameless King in New Game Plus Plus to collect a ring. But we are not there yet. We have to first complete New Game Plus. And we do that by yeah, killing the Lord, the Soul of Cinder. 
But first I have to collect this Havel's ring and I have to <laughs> get through this enemy wave. But I failed, of course, look at this shit. Kind of funny, but also annoying. Just get out of my way. What the fuck, man? I just want this ring. I just want that ring. Get out of my way. Oh my god. Yeah, man, I can't even federal this shit. Come on, what the fuck? He doesn't want to take the stairs. Oh, oh it's wrong. Come on, come on. Yeah, there. Ooh, I'm here, I'm here. Nice, I got it. Hey, this ring. A very good ring we can use. Okay, we are back at this guy, Ludex. So we defeat him. So this is new game plus plus. And now we get here. Then Wolf Ring plus two. Okay, we are back at this guy. And I have to say, I'm kind of annoyed. I died a lot now. And again. Oh my god, man. I don't know what to do. He has so much health. He's making so much damage. But I tried and tried and I'm failing all the time. So yeah, man. I dodge. Yo, this attack. Kinda hard. Oh yes. Damn, I did it. But now I, oh, I hate this younger prince on his back. This idiot. If he wouldn't be there, or if he wouldn't revive this guy, this boss would be so easy. You can dodge everything. I have to fat roll because of these projectiles. Sorry for that. Look at this damage. Man. Yeah, I know. I can rest here, you fucking idiot. Come on. Dodge. He's almost down. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh. He's dead. Yes. Look at my health bar. I'm on it. I'm fucking on it. And he's as well. This elder prince, but he died because his brother is dead. Oh my god, finally. The final obstacle I had to overcome to get this platinum out of the way. It's torturing me for a while now. I have so many hours playtime on this game now. It's the longest platinum I had to do for the Souls game. Games. I think 140 hours I have in secure I have 139 hours playtime but 40 hours of that doesn't count because I played after I got the platinum the boss rush I had so much fun with the game so I tried to complete the boss rush but I always failed on these apes on these uh, double ape boss shit yeah but I died here kind of funny and I got this ring out of the way then I got here and I got this ring for getting more souls then I can drop down here for another ring we are almost done with all the rings yeah this ring is good I think we only miss five rings now four maybe I don't know I forgot yeah there are 107 rings in the game you can collect oh my god this was the biggest grind ever this game okay wood grain ring everything plus two there's also dlc for this game but i won't play that there are no trophies for that and i wouldn't play it if it had some trophies but i think from software hates trophies they never do some yeah kind of secret stuff it's always the same like defeat every boss and yeah get everything every ring and stuff like that get every weapon like in dark souls 1 get every sorcery is always a part of these platinums but yeah we got every ring now and now we're gonna summon soul of cinder this asshole to get to the dark firelink shrine as well so we can pick up the eyes of the firekeeper which we need for a secret ending and here there we are open the shit oh yeah we are so hard in this area and there is an item i can pick up which i already have but now we have to destroy a secret wall do that eyes of a firekeeper we use this item to get the secret ending we have to talk to the firekeeper and if we do that we can give her the firekeeper eyes and this will give us an option to summon her after the fading soul of cinder but first collecting some rings another ring here maybe yeah thunderstone plate this ring is very good against nameless king okay 
king of storm, you asshole. I have a lot of trouble and I hate you. Yeah, give me that. Oh yeah. Oh my god, man, I can't. I'm playing for like 10 hours this game. I hate it. Okay, we are at the nameless king. Guy now, he's from his dragon. I killed his dragon, he's kind of angry. And I'm almost dead, no shit. Man, I hate this guy on this new game plus plus he makes so much damage he has so much health i don't know what to do man when a boss is uh, only getting harder when he has more health then i hate him yeah what can i say this shitty ng plus plus shit i hate it so much yeah i have to stagger this idiot again then skip everything okay dodged no i won't let you do that come on yes i did it before he could do it Oh, a lot of damage. He's almost dead. Come on. Shit, the stamina. No. Don't panic. Perfect dodges. He must be dead. He's won it. No. Shit. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. I did it. I finally did it. We will get no trophy. But we will get when we get teleported to the next area where you can collect the last ring. Finally. The golden snake ring, I think. I don't know what it's called. Something with gold and we get masters of rings. Master of rings. Okay. Give eyes of a firekeeper. So I backed up my save because I failed on NG Plus to get a... A different ending so I have to do two endings here in new game plus plus I didn't want to do a fourth playthrough you can yeah no I wouldn't do that I can't play this game anymore but I know now if I defeat this guy twice I'm done with this game I never have to play this again even if I like this game it was too much for me. The Platinum did. Did. The Platinum took my nice experience with this game. Yeah. But I don't hate the game. Like Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I said it again. I hate Dark Souls 2. Was the worst Souls, le uh, Souls game. Even if this platinum is way more annoying Dark Souls 2 was just, was just bad I have to say yeah and I died again this Gwyn soundtrack yeah your magic stick won't help you you stupid idiot get the fuck out of my way I'm dead. I didn't slap for a whole day now. Yeah, I'm dead again. He was one it. Shit, I was almost a step nearer to go asleep. Man, <laughs> I can just laugh. You stupid idiot, man. Oh my god, just attack. Not with that shit. No, he's doing that. Shit, oh, I was lucky. Yeah. He's, he's down. Is he dead? Oh my god. I did it. Now we can summon the firekeeper. Finally, man. But I can be happy after that we have to back up we have to copy the save to console storage to fight him again to get the normal ending the easiest ending out of the way fuck man i hate this guy but here is the fire keeper yeah just talk to her give me their secret ending Give me the trophy. Come on, 
I can. You, uh, I hate it. Shut up. Oh my fucking god. Only a few minutes, then the platinum is mine. After 140 hours, it will be a hilarious ending. Now I have to fight him again when the trophy pops. The end of fire. I did it. And now the, la the last thing we need to do is to fight against them again. And then just sit on the shitty bonfire. I don't have to show much of this fight, I think. Maybe I will first try him. Okay, I'm at the second phase. And it looks good because I think the first time or the second time fighting him was very good because now I really first tried him. And this means we will get the platinum now. We just have to sit down and the fucking platinum will pop. Finally. After 140 hours grinding and shit on the toilet sleepless nights I can say I platinumed Dark Souls 3 and every Soulsborn game that exists I don't have a video for Sekiro and Bloodborne sadly but now I have a video for Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 and Elden Ring on Demon Souls there is no video as well, sadly, but yeah, the trophy will pop in a few minutes, seconds, seconds, milliseconds, to link the first flame and the dark soul, finally, I'm done.